bam, let's start this comic book review off with a punch. It's right on the cover. Van Helsing number one. There's like a million covers because it's a Zenoscope book. But dudes, my dudes, I had so much fun reading this. It's like a B action movie, and it's a blast. This reminds me of, um, oh, what was that movie that came out? Not, not the one actually named uh, Van Helsing or whatever, but uh, there was uh, around 2000, Dracula 2000. You're, like, th this is just fun, man. You just have people wisecracking, killing vampires, wisecracking as they kill vampires, and it's more action than you can shake a... What, what do you kids shake anymore? You shake like dead vampires of people or something? Like, whatever it is. Whatever you're shaking, this book has more of it than you can shake at the book. That metaphor was just a total failure. Absolute total failure. But hey, at least I tried, right? At least I tried something. All right, let, let's stop looking at this really fun cover. Uh, so we start off like somebody breaks out and steals Dracula's bones. That's awesome. That's a great way to start the story. And uh, our title character right here. Yeah. She shows up. Man, she just wrecks face. This entire book. Look at this dude. Like, oh, demon stake through the head, man. And so she's like through... With the minions. Now, this dude, the pawnbroker of evil over here, he thinks she's here for the book. And she's like, where is it? And he's like, I don't know where the... Or, I have the book. It's on my desk. And he's like, I didn't ask about the book. He's like, oh, and then dies. So, cool, right? I mean, the art looks pretty darn good. I had fun just looking at stuff. And look at this book. That book looks awesome. Look at the little gold on it. Like... Who gets the cover of their journal embossed in gold foil? Who does that? You want to see my journal? You want to see my journal? I, I guess it's not really a journal per se. It's just a notebook. But, you know, I, I write in it uh, at least once a week. I think that makes it pretty journalistic. Oh, journalistic. I, I think I inadvertently made a pun. You know, here. Look at that. See? That's my journal. I got another one, uh, another book just like this, which is good because I'm getting kind of low. You can see where the, well, maybe you can see where the tassel is. See? I'm running out of pages. Once I run out of pages, I have to use the new book for a new year and a half of comic books. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. So anyway, she is wrecking face. And uh, turns out he's a big boy. So the dude transforms. Oh, hold on. I, I love this panel with the glowing eyes over here. I love that. Look at that malevolence. And it's all silhouetted. Like, it looks better silhouetted away than it would in reality if you actually drew the details. It's a very good choice that also makes things pretty quick. And, uh, you know, there's, there's some serious fighting here. Oh, look at this. Slurp. One delicious morsel of time. Yes, well, about that. Turns out uh, she kind of took a dip in a uh, fountain of holy water on church property. And, um, yeah. Then we got uh, this chicka over here at the very end. Like, don't know who she is, but I think she's the one that stole the bones. Like, what's going on? I'm not 100% sure. But what I do know is that I had fun. Oh, 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 oh. And in typical modern comic Joss Whedon fa fashion, you know, the hero uh, just quips constantly as they're fighting. Are the bad guys... Ah, oh, bleep. Oh, what the bleep was that? You know, with all the hell puns being tossed around, I'm glad at least one of you decided to change it up a bit. Then the next panel, their boss comes out. What the heck is going on out here? Spoke too soon. Like, the book has a nice little kind of childish sense of wit. And it's fun. Uh, this page here that I showed off already, he transforms. He's big and scary. Bollocks. Knew I should have brought out my big gun. So there's lots of stupid little jokes. There's lots of nice art. There's lots of action. I'm not going to like try to deconstruct this because I just had fun. Probably as soon as I get done rereading this review, I'm going to flip through this book again. The only thing that's kind of laughable is her outfit. Like, seriously. But you know what? This is so much fun. 
I don't even care. Plus, by Zenoscope standards, she's actually remarkably conservatively dressed. So she's got that going on for her. Uh, if you didn't check this out uh, when it came out this past Wednesday, absolutely go check this out. Because I think you, if you like action, if you like vampires, if you like vampire action, are going to have fun. And isn't that what really matters here? Like, read the comic book to have fun? I think so. It's only uh, three ninety nine too. It's not like five bucks like uh, DC's trying to push with all their books. You got that going on. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.